Check out the First Man Men's Lifestyle Supplement by using the links below. Okay guys, welcome back to another video. This video is gonna be a little bit different to anything I've ever really done on this channel before. Um, and I think it's gonna be more helpful for a lot of guys because not everybody's an entrepreneur and whatever. There's a lot of people out there just want a really good job. They're in a nine to five job at the moment. They're trying to go for interviews. They're getting nervous, etc. Here is how I landed every single interview I ever went for. And that's the truth, okay? Oh, truth be told, one I didn't get because he pissed me off halfway through and I started acting like a cunt, basically, just to piss him off. He was just annoying me, so I was like, well, fuck it, I don't even want this anymore. So I started acting like a prick. Um, all the other ones, finance jobs that I went for, wildly underqualified for, got all of them, okay? Every job I had before that, estate agency, never worked in the industry before, got the job straight away. Like, so how was I able to do this? Well, number one, I changed my mindset. I kind of went in there, I, I like I always had businesses when I was young, okay? Whether I had a personal training business, whether I had my secret signals, body language stuff that I was trying to do early on when I was doing speeches in front of people, uh, or whether it was like first man in the early days, okay? I always went into interviews believing that I was on par with them. I'm also a business owner. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm also a business owner. I've got my own business, you've got your own business, we're meeting today, I've got a great skill set that I apply to my business, I need this job temporarily to, you know, I need it for financial, for financial reasons, but I can transfer my skill set, which is gonna lead me eventually to be a millionaire, I can transfer that skill set uh, into your business and you can rent me for two, three years, whatever, and you'll get a benefit out of it and I'll benefit too. We're both scratching each other's backs. That was my mindset. So straight away I was calm, because I was like, well, I'm a CEO too, nice to meet you. Oh, you're interviewing with the MD today. I'm like, that's great, well, I'm, an, I'm a founder of my own company, so we're roughly on the same level. I might not have the money that they've got yet, but you know, my business is just as serious, and I take it that seriously. So I appreciate the position that you're in, I'm in a similar one, you know, that sort of thing. And that was my mindset. So I would sit with people who are multi-millionaires and sit across from them and just see it as like a business negotiation. I was, I've done stuff like this before with my business and that is the great thing about business, okay? Is it kind of, like I went to meetings before and talked to, uh, to like watch companies about like, do you wanna be in this video and stuff like that? And I sat across from people. Now not everybody has the ability to do that in, your, in their business, but you can find some personal pride in other areas. Okay, like especially when it comes to mindset, like if you, for example, you might not have your own business, but you might be doing things outside of work, you might be doing like organizing things, you might be, um, you might not be starting a business, but you might be investing, you might be investing in crypto, you might be investing in stocks and just doing these little things outside of work, it kind of allows you to think to yourself, I'm more than just this job. I think that's the big part of it. I've got other sources of income other than this job. I've got options. I've got the ability to start my own business. I invest in property, whatever it might be. And you're like, I'm on an equal playing field with these people. And the person who's interviewing me, I'm on that level too. I've just got, you've just got to help me out for the time being so I can get to where I'm gonna get. Like that's, that's an important mindset, okay guys? If you go into an interview without that mindset, you're just gonna be petrified. You're gonna see that person as like some top level individual. And because I didn't, it leads me on to my second point. Okay, here's a pen. If I can reach it without knocking the mic. I would sit there with my notepad and pen and I would do this, okay? I would, I would get to the table. I would open up like my little briefcase kind of thing, like the little bag that I had with me. And I would do this, okay? I would get the, I'd get my notepad out, little notepad, big notepad, whatever. And I would sit there. I would put it on the desk or whatever or in my hands. And I'd sit there like this at the desk. I got this trick from my mum, by the way. My mum used to date, put a date at the top, name of the company and everything. Just kind of like underline the scenario. So the scenario might be like first interview or um, interview for all like company name and then underline it because then they know that you've been to multiple different companies and you sit there and you go, mm-hmm, and you're interviewing them. This is what I was doing, I was interviewing them. So they'd go, okay, they'd be nervous. You'd see them go, Oh, uh, uh, okay, like suddenly they're on the back foot. 
And um, I'm like, so just before we start, tell me a little bit about the company. And uh, you know, they might be like, oh, have you, so have you done your research? It's like, yeah, but I want to hear it from you, from somebody on the inside, somebody on the, you know, on the source. I just want to make some quick notes, see if, you know, it runs parallel with what I've found. It's shit like that, right? And what I'm doing is I'm, let me sit forward again, because you get the idea. <clears throat> I'm taking control of that interview. I'm taking that power there. Like number, number three, right? I'll just throw this in now because it ties in. My body language is amazing while I'm doing it too. Like I wasn't leaning forward like that. Like I'm sat there like proud as a peacock and I've built up some muscle and that helps too, okay guys? So that just ties in. That's an extra point, but it ties into what I was saying because it's hard to do without being the big, you know, alpha male across the table. Um, so then I'm just, I'm making notes on the company and I'm jotting them down. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah. And I'm interviewing that motherfucker. Okay. Here's my next trick. And this one's very fucking clever. Even though I say so myself, I'd be, I'd be sat across from uh, the person and I'd go, okay. And they'd be like, you got any questions for me or like in general conversations, what do you think of that? And I'd be like, that's fantastic. So when we're working together, let's say, for example, hypothetical projects that we're working on, let's say me and you are working on that thing there, you know, and we need to get it through. And, you know, a great idea for that actually is blah, blah, blah. And that's what we can do when we start. And I talk like that as if I've already got the job. And I'd say, so when we start or when me and you are working on this together, and I'm just fucking putting it in their head that I'm already an employee. So at the end of the day, it's like inception. By the time they make their decision, they're like, I can see myself working with that Chris guy. And they're like, of course you fucking can, because I told you you were going to work with me. I basically said that in the interview. I literally told you, like, we're, when we're working on this together, like, you just plant the seed in the person's head. You know, it's just little things. Like, let's say you're in car sales. You'd be like, okay, so when, uh, you know, would you want me to pop in on the weekend to wash some of these cars for you? You know, stuff like that, you just throw it out there. You're like, okay, so let's say I'm stood there with a customer. Um, you know, you just throw something in. Do you see what I mean, guys? Like, come up with a scenario based on what you're talking about. Like, say we, when I'm doing that or when I'm here, okay. So when I start, what we'll do is, they might be like, when you start, God, that's a little bit. And you can just go, wow. You know, just play off that kind of, it's just that level of confidence. It just works so much better when you just put yourself in that scenario already. Somebody might call you out on it. They never did me. Most, and I think the frame helps too. Like when you're bigger, it really helps. But <laughs> I just, just imagine me, right, in an interview, sat there with my notes, just going, mm hmm, yeah, okay, yep. Okay, hang, can I just stop you there? You said about blah, blah, blah. That worries me a little. What does that consist of? Okay. So when me and you are working together on that project, for example, how would that entail with that and that and that? Okay, that's not a problem. Fan yeah, okay, fantastic. Yep. Yeah, okay, that I'm really impressed. That's better than the other company. Uh, mind games, do you see what I mean? That's better than the other company. I was doing shit like that for so long. It was just fucking sales. And every interview I went to, they were just like, yeah, you're in, you're in, you're in. Give him the job. Like literally before I left, they were basically like, you, you're going to get the job. Just make sure you come back tomorrow and we'll give it to you. Okay, so that's like, that's, that's like my surface tips, okay? If I tried to go deeper or whatever, guys, and was like, and then what I do is, this isn't fucking like some blog, that, like BuzzFeed, that tries to come up with the best five tactics to whatever. That's just real shit that I used to do, and that's a real example. Like I said, get in shape, get great body language, number one. Show up on time, wear nice clothes. Everybody fucking knows this shit, but I'm trying to give you the nuggets that nobody else does. Bring in a notepad, bring in a pen. You're interviewing them as much as they're interviewing you. It's like fucking women, okay? Oh, I really want to fuck you. She's like, yeah, but what have you got to offer? I could get pregnant off you and you could be some bum. You know, oh, now suddenly you show up in a, in a McLaren and you've got like a 3,000 pound suit on. Now she's chasing you. Oh, I want to fuck you. It's like, yeah, of course you do because now you found out some shit about me, okay? And you've got to interview that person. So that rich guy in that scenario would be like, well, hang on a minute. Let me find out a little bit about you. You're beautiful. You've got a nice ass. Great. So what? You're not going to have that in 10 years time. Let me figure out a little bit more about your personality. And she's like, yeah, but you're not going to have that Ferrari in 10. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, you are. You're probably going to be richer. Do you see what I mean? So by throwing some questions at them and interviewing the inter interviewer, you know, you're, you're switching the dynamics. You know, you're showing interest in the company as well. You're taking that lead role. And they get like... That would impress the fuck out of me if somebody just brought out a notepad and pen and did some prep work and whatever and was sat there and going, mm-hmm, yep, okay, 
and they're spe like they're involved. They already feel like they're in a company fucking meeting, right? And this is the other thing I started to do. <laughs> um, I didn't do this when I first started doing this tactic, but I adopted it over time. Is I started to make changes with the company early on. I was like, do you know what would be better if we did this? I'll tell you why, because I used to do this in my company and this works very like a lot better than this. And I noticed on your website, you do it the other way. I'm like moving forward in 2020 or whatever back then, they're making a change to SEO. And this is coming in, this this new thing, it's called blah, blah, blah. Have you heard about it? No, okay, yeah, well let, well, let me tell you. Just fucking educate the motherfucker in front of you. Do you know what I mean? Like you're going for the job role, show off a bit, stunt a little bit. Like just, don't just be like, I'm a hard working person. I, 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 I'm dedicated to the company and, uh, 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 and I, in five years time, I see myself still here working. Like, fuck off, get the fuck out of my office, you, you absolute chimp. Do you know what I mean? Like I want somebody who's gonna sit there and go, I wanna, be, I wanna make an impact here. Here's what I wanna do. I've already been thinking about what we can do in this company. Oh, okay, this motherfucker's involved. Do you know what I mean? He wants to be a part of this firm. He's actually interested. He's saying we, he's, he's coming up with changes already. they be like, I've looked on your website. I've got this and this and this. Did you know he's come, oh, he's just shared a little bit of information with me. Well, this guy's on the, on the front foot. And I used to say things like, I just can't wait to get started. I hate these, I hate these interviews. You know, you just, I don't know if you should swear, but I used to be able to get away with it. I used to be like, excuse my French, but I hate these fucking interviews. I feel like we both know that I'm a perfect person for the job. If we could start today, we can get results quicker. Do you know what I mean? I'm just throwing stuff out at them like a salesman would. And they'd be like, ha, ah, like chuckling away. It's just like, there's a whole art form to it. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not, oh, I'm going for this big interview today. It's not an interview. It's a man or a woman sitting across from a man or a woman, you know, or multiple people. And at the end of the day, if you were on the street, if you were in a club, if you were trying to fuck that girl, if you were about to fight that guy, or if he's a guy that you've just met and he's like, God, he's a big guy, he's in great shape, do you know what I mean? He's just met you at the gym. They would react entirely different, but because they're sat in that scenario where it's like, okay, I'm the, I, I'm the CEO here at this company, you impress me. As soon as you start changing that shit around, they don't know what to do. People start going, mm, uh, um, 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 yeah, uh, um, um. Like they're all over the fucking shop like they are in a club when they see a beautiful woman with a nice ass. It's the same shit. People are people at the end of the day. Humans are humans, right? Nobody's that special. Their titles, CEO, doctor, MD, you know, he's the, the regional manager of shove a dick up your ass, right? It doesn't bother me. It's never bothered me. When I used to do sales, it was like, I'm, I'm the CEO and you've called me and blah, blah, blah. Do you know how busy I am? I'm like, oh, I'm sure you are. I really appreciate how busy you are. And I apologize for catching you at a bad time. Do you know what I, mean? I don't give a fuck. I do not give a fuck. It doesn't matter who I talk to because I believe I'm on their level, if not above. I'm just like, who the fuck are you? Who are you to tell me that I couldn't get this job? It's just a poxy little job for a nine to five wage that I'm gonna use to become a billionaire. And then you're gonna see me on the news and be like, I worked with that guy once, I hired him. I've got a great eye for talent. You don't have a great eye for talent. I've got a great math. And I'm able to tell you to fucking hire me. And that's exactly what I did every single time. I was telling people to hire me. And do you know the other fucking thing? I shown up for jobs in suits looking immaculate and they've told me later on, actually, you're the only person who showed up well dressed. It's a modern thing now, guys. People don't take effort anymore, especially if you're going for like a finance job, anything high level, whatever. Show up looking the bollocks. Spend the extra money. Show up with a fucking pocket square if you have to. Do you know what I mean? Just take it to the next level. Buy some expensive shoes. Make sure your skin's looking good, go and get a haircut, whatever, like just show up looking immaculate. I promise you, it makes a difference. Check out the First Man Men's Lifestyle Supplement by using the links below.